you know, every now and then something comes along in your life and it changes your life. And, and lots of times you are prepared for those moments. You know, you, you graduate school, you get married, you start a family, you start a new job, things like that. And, uh, but sometimes things come in your life that, that you're not prepared for that changes the direction of your life and then changes your life forever. And, and sometimes those are, are difficult or even tragic, but sometimes God surprises you with something that, that just unexpected and and that's certainly what he did for me with this next song. Um, I was coming back from a concert in North Carolina one night late and wrote this thing in about 30 minutes and uh, made a little demo of it. Didn't give it a lot of thought. Uh, put it on a you know, little demo tape, sent it out. A few weeks later, I got a phone call from Bill Gaither's record company. They called me and said, uh, is this Daryl? I said, uh, yes. And he said, Daryl, I'm with Bill Gaither's record company and uh, we've got this group that's just really looking for a, a special song. And they've heard this song of yours. And they've been singing it a cappella at their concerts because they don't have music for it. And they said, man, every time they sing it, the spirit falls like they have never seen. And they just believe this song is, is supposed to be their song. They would like to record it. Would that be all right? Well, I fasted and prayed for two or three seconds. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, of course, I was tickled. I was, I was honored, you know, and, uh, and I said I'd, I'd be honored. And, and so they recorded it and made it the title of the album, the first single. And, and in the years since this thing's been out, man, this song has been around the world. I mean, I've heard it in different languages. I've heard it in, in all kinds of different styles. I've heard it done southern gospel style. I've heard it done in black gospel. I've heard it done in bluegrass, you know, you know and in different languages. It's been amazing. Um, I mean, it, it actually made the list as one of the top 35 Southern gospel songs of all time. But I'll tell you what I never get over and what changed me more than anything else, and that's the stories. And sometimes the stories are, you know, are, are simple, and, and, and they're, you know, well, we sing that at my church, or I sing that in my little group that I sing in, and, and I appreciate that, you know. Uh, sometimes they're a little more personal, you know. Uh, sometimes it's things like uh, we, we played that song at, mama's funeral because that was that was her favorite song and I appreciate that I really do but every now and then you, you get a story and it's just I don't know what to do with it it's just it's too overwhelming there was a little lady a little lady stopped me one time took me by the sleeve I was walking out the door she said darling I just wanted to let you know that your song got me through chemo I don't know what to say I just hugged her and cried. I didn't know what else to do, you know. There was another lady that stopped me one time, and she said, I'd like to tell you a story. I said, all right. She said, I was married for 40 years to the meanest man that ever lived. I thought, boy, this is going to be a story. She said, he, did, he was mean. He didn't want any part of the Lord. He didn't want any part of church. And every Sunday morning, he'd make fun of me for going. She said, one day we happened to be home Watching television, flipping channels, and the Gaither Show happened to be on, and, and that song of yours came on. And he got to listen to it. And she said it got to the second verse, and that's when he broke. She said he started crying, and she'd never seen him cry. And she said that was the day his life turned around. And he ended up spending the next two years of his life, which was all the life he had left here, sitting with her and serving God in the same little church he made fun of her for going to. Well, you know, I'll never get over those stories, you know, and the impact that they have in my life. But, but I think what I have learned from the whole experience with this song, one of the main lessons the Lord has taught me through this is truly the power of your story. You know, it's really important that our friends and our family and our neighbors, it's really important that they know how God changed Saul to Paul. It's important that they know how Jesus restored Peter. But you know what they really need to know? They need to know what God did for you. They need to know how Jesus restored you and how you depend on Him 
and how he gets you through the difficult times and the hard times. Because they know you and they, they trust you and they can, they can see you and, and they can think, well, you know what? If, if God can change them, he can change me too. And that's how lives are truly changed. So my number one encouragement to you today is whatever your story is, whatever, wherever you've been in life, whatever your walk is now, whatever your, your job, career, skill, hobby is, whatever your story is, share Jesus through it. Let other people see Jesus in you. That changes lives. Well, I'm going to sing you this song. If you've listened to Southern Gospel music, you may have heard this. If the Booth Brothers are the gentlemen that recorded it. I apologize. I do not sound at all like them. Uh, in fact, my version is a little bit different, but this is pretty close to what it sounded like when it was first written. I was working in town one afternoon Attending some business affairs I heard a commotion a couple streets over, I wondered what's happening there. A young man was running from in that direction. He stopped just to catch his breath. Oh, I asked him to please tell me what was the hurry. Oh, he smiled up at me and he said, I was trying. The crippled man, did he run past this way? He was rushing home to tell everyone what Jesus did today. And the mute man was telling myself and the deaf girl, he's leaving to answer God's call. Oh, it's hard to believe, but if you don't trust me, blind man, he saw it all. Past the blind man, he saw it all. Now here's the good part right here. My friend, if the troubles and burdens you carry are heavy and dragging you down, you have tried everything you can possibly think of. And there's no relief to be found. Friend, that very same Jesus that altered the future of a blind man, the deaf, and the lame. Oh, he is still reaching out in your hour of trouble. One touch and you're never the same. You'll be trying to catch the crippled. did today and the mute man was telling myself and the deaf girl he's leaving to answer God's call oh it's hard to believe but if you don't trust me past the blind man he saw it all 